Good morning. I'm the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again to talk to you about different types of leather, particularly Tory Burch leather um, that is smooth and grained compared to a couple of luxury designers, Longchamp and Chanel and their uh, smooth and grained options. Now what I'm holding right now is the Tory Burch Cura in the size small. It is wonderful crossbody on me. I am 5'8", and I actually prefer to carry it shoulder. Now, the size of it is extremely comparable to the Chanel Medium Large. I've seen pictures of it on Facebook groups comparing these two sizes, and they are very compatible. Although I do think the Tory Burch can hold a bit more, maybe because it isn't quite as rigid as the Chanel bag. Now, the leather on this bag is a smooth, lambskin leather and i can't remember if i've said but the color is called pink moon it's discontinued but you can still find this bag in other colors now the leather on this as compared to the longchamp bag that i mentioned in another video that i will link below um, i would say it feels a little bit tougher not quite as soft not quite as luxurious as the longchamp option in my other video, I did mention that this is the softest bag I have ever felt. It is even softer than the Coach Pillow Tabby, in my opinion. That is a Napa leather, I believe. Now, Tory Burch Kira, I've carried this a little bit, and I haven't noticed any damage to the corners. And I will say that that is the first area that this bag tends to get damaged because of the way it folds at the corners. But I'm pretty careful with my bag and especially a shoulder bag is easier to prevent damage like that because you're not gonna be bumping it into things like you would with a crossbody bag. Okay, so on to number two. This is also a Tory Burch lambskin leather bag. This is the Soft Fleming and it is in the regular size. Um, I wanted this size because I really like how it looks in proportion to my body. The bag is extremely lightweight and I had an extra organizer laying around which I put inside and so I will show that to you here. It holds so much. You can fit like pop bottles in here which is something I like to carry around with me. Um, this color is called tiramisu. The closest thing you can find to it right now is the color mousse, which is a little bit darker. On this bag, I, I have three of them actually. And I will say that this leather, this lambskin is softer than the Kira, but it is also more fragile. And I believe it's also more fragile than the super soft Longchamp option because in using this bag for only one time, I scuffed it several places. So if you look, and I don't think you'll even be able to see it in the camera, but what I'm gonna do is I am going to put some photos at the end and see if I can capture it in a photo. But this area right here has got little scuffs where there's color loss on the leather. And I think it's because of the push lock open design now, the newer models have a magnet, and I think that will help with the wear here. But I even noticed after using it just one time that there were a couple little scuffs here. And again, this isn't anything noticeable enough that you would notice it if I was carrying the bag. It's just that I notice all the little things. However, I do love this bag. It's lightweight, it's super comfy to carry. It has beautiful, leather woven through the chain. I love the soft gold hardware as well. And again, this is the Tory Burch Soft Fleming in the regular size. It retails for $5.98. Okay, so on to bag number three. Now this bag, it, it really kind of took me by storm. I love this bag. I bought, I think I had, I bought six of them originally. I ended up deciding to keep four. This is the Tory Burch Willa in the size small. It is an outlet bag. And despite that, I absolutely love the way this leather feels. I mean, it is so nice. And I would compare it to the Chanel leather. They're both a grained leather. 
course, the pattern on the Tory Burch is just a little different. Also, just a note, this bag holds way more than the Chanel Medium Large. It has beautiful silver hardware, but most of the bags in the Willow line have gold hardware. And they have kind of like a tumbled gold hardware that sort of gives an antique effect. The leather on this bag, it feels way more durable to me. And I haven't seen any wear on it from wearing this bag, but it feels way more durable to me than the leather on pretty much any of these other bags. I would say it's comparable to the Chanel, um, but definitely way more durable than any of the other lambskin bags. But yet it has a texture that I like even more than the Chanel. If you look inside, it's just one big opening. It holds a ton. And these bags, this line is still available at the Tory Burch outlet. So I would highly recommend it. I think it's a super great size. Again, it's the small Willa from Tory Burch. And it goes crossbody as well. When you put the chain down, you can wear that crossbody. So I think that's it in a nutshell. Um, I had three Tory Burch bags to compare, which I did. And then I also compared them to the lambskin and Chanel caviar leather. So we, we looked at basically a couple different grains, smooth versus um, a grained leather. And, um, you know, basically Tory Burch does really well. It falls a little bit short in terms of the lamb, in my opinion. But in terms of its grained leather willa, it's almost like a caviar. And it is amazing because not only is it durable, but it is just super soft. So for the win on this one, out of all these bags, if you have a kind of a value budget in mind, I would buy this one over several of these others. Um, and it, it retails, I can't remember, it's between four and $500, but you can find them 30 to 50% off at the outlets. So give your sales associate a call. They can ship for like, I think it's $10, which isn't too bad. So that's the conclusion of this particular video. If you liked it, it would help me out a ton if you could like the video and also subscribe to see future content. Thanks a bunch and have a great day. One more quick thing I wanted to tell you is I'm going to insert some photos at the end that include close-ups of these grains and the smooth leather so you can just see what the difference is. Um, I hope that helps. Thanks again. Bye.